folks, what is going on today? Well, I have some very juicy information I want to share with you when it comes to that building, you know, which was a document storage facility down in, you know, Broadway outside of Chicago, Illinois, here in the U.S. That building we already knew, you know, belongs to Theater Mary Trade and possibly Charles Schwab at the same time. Now, what is really interesting is that when you actually make connect the dots into something, you know, that was dig down when you dig deeper into exactly who might be behind this well there is kind of no doubt when you look at you know those facts those new kind of you know uh, um, discoveries pointing out to the short sellers or the companies shorting mc stock heavily so it's going to be really interesting please stick till the end because it's going to give you even more confidence into why now is not the time to be out of mc stock so getting into this right away it gets very very interesting we already shared with you this, you know, footage on ABC, how, you know, it was, there was kind of covering the fire that destroyed all the documents from that facility in Barlett, the Barlett warehouse. Now, what is really interesting here is some of the engineers, you know, some people familiar with the business of construction tells us that, well, the reason behind this fire starting to begin with doesn't really make a lot of sense. Why? Because... The sprinkler system is really what people have called out to be the reason why the fire started at the first place. But people familiar, professionals and engineers within the construction business tells us that, hey, when it comes to security and preventing fire, when you build such a building, you have to make sure the sprinkler system is the highest, the highest system on the building. Why? Because they are telling us that some shelves, you know, fell on the brink sprinkle system and that's what causes the fire not to be put up, uh, put up, put off uh, when it all started, causing the whole building to burn to the ground. So Sonny Ochoa on Twitter was able to share with us some new evidence, some new pictures, some new information because he lives closely to this building facility. Here's a picture of Sonny Ochoa. So make sure you give him some shout out on Twitter if you are on Twitter. Now, look at how this is a picture of what uh, February 5th, the next day, the fire is still very hard. The fire is still very high and intense even, even after, you know, firefighters are here starting to put up with, with it. But no, for some reason, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't end. But you already can see some, you know, bulldozers here trying to remove some of the stuff. Keep that in mind as we move on. Now, this is again some other days, February 6th. We still have the bulldozers trying to put up to, 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 to clean, but the building is still burning again, which is weird. Now, what is really interesting here is that um, when you have a fire in a building, when you have a fire in the building, the very next minutes or hours, you are expecting to see what fire trucks around the fire. But according to this footage, again from Sunny, there is barely no fire truck around this. And you can already see that the fire is destroying a big chunk of the building. And you can see the heavy smoke uh, 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 out of the building. So again, is that a coincidence? Is that normal? No, it is not normal. Now, when you dig deeper, and you can see that even days, this is another picture taken on February 7th. So three days, there is still smoke coming out of the building, the remains of the buildings, meaning the fire was really intense. So my question is, what was the firefighters doing not to control and to monitor the fire here? Big question. But it gets even more juicy when you actually look at a company, you know, with the name Epaco. Epaco is a company that is really um, in the business of cleaning and removing stuff. But Sonny, also in the construction business for 25 years and living in the area, said that, you know, have worked in construction for 25 years in the area and I don't recall coming across these company names. I took these pictures this morning at the never-ending fire in Bartlett. Hashtag MC not leaving. Why? Epaco, according to Sonny, who is really familiar with the construction business in this area, never seen these names before. Now, when you jump into the website of Epaco, Epaco is, they say, is a premier environmental and emergency services company in the eastern United States with coverage across 45 plus regional locations. We specialize in emergency response, remediation and industrial and marine and waste services. Okay, okay. 
makes sense, makes sense, but why in the heck they were never seen before in that specific area? Was, were they called on purpose by somebody, by someone? Let's find out. Now, another ape was able to actually dig even deeper. And when you dig deeper, this company belongs to kind of a, a pool of company being managed by another company named Heritage. As a matter of fact, here is their portfolio. You know, Griffin Investors works with Heritage. And Griffin back companies represent a microcosm of middle markets, right? So they have a portfolio of companies that they manage and they help uh, uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, strategize and make sure their operations will smoothly and grow. They have current companies under their portfolio and you can see Epaco is actually here. Epaco, here it is. But it gets even more interesting when you actually get to this part. This is still Griffin Investors. The managing director, part of a research group is Jeff Rogers. Jeff Rogers used to also work at a very familiar company in the name of Citadel Investment Group, and he was the senior vice president. Is this again another coincidence? It is hard to believe. I mean, I don't know. I, can, <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny these allegations, which is our other point, but it is really hard not to connect the dot easily between Citadel Investment Group, you know, being also connected to this company, Hepaco, because by the way, according to Sony, have never ever been around constructions in this area where this building was burning down to the ground a couple of days ago after, after the DOJ started seizing computers and documents based on the vast probe investigating short selling companies and their allies. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. You tell me in the comment section whether this is a coincidence or no. But the truth of the matter is we are getting closer. We are getting closer to that place where things are going to start being crazy when it comes to AMC doing its thing. Because if the short sellers are really behind this thing, it means they may be trying to cover some evidence in order to get their way out of this thing again. But it's too late. It's too late because every agency sec fscc uh, 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 federal reserve everybody is really trying to get rid of this chaos that short sellers started and amc being in the middle of it is just a matter of time before this whole thing starts doing what it's supposed to do and that's why i said at the beginning of this video that now is not really the time at least i believe it that now is not the time to get out of amc because there is new, 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 unimaginable highs that potentially may come um, in this play. When? I can't tell you that. If I could, I wouldn't be sitting here making videos. I will be a billionaire sipping a mojito on the beach in the Vision Islands. So I see you in the next one, folks. Take care.